think we've wasted enough time on this resolution, so I'll keep my remarks short. I believe it's a foolish waste of Congress's time and taxpayer dollars. When I'm home in my district, no one, literally no one, has ever expressed a fear that this country is in danger of falling under the sway of Stalin or Pol Pot or socialism because that's absurd. We are a capitalist country. And that is Democratic Congresswoman Mary Scanlon from Pennsylvania. She's a member of the House Rules Committee and she took aim at a Republican committee resolution titled Denouncing the Horrors of Socialism. That's right, even though the committee is responsible for deciding legislative procedures and the manner in which bills are presented to the House of Representatives, Republicans on the committee are focused on political and economic theories and philosophies of distribution and work. The debate over socialism versus capitalism has absolutely nothing to do with how a bill gets to the House floor, gets a vote, but Republicans on the Rules Committee don't seem to care. They have a messaging agenda and they insist that the Rules Committee vote on condemning socialism. Do the Republicans even know what socialism means? Not really, because they don't seem to have a problem with the government providing freebies and help to America's richest corporations. But when the government is providing, say, Medicare or something to improve individual lives, well, the GOP goes nuts. Anyway, Scanlon rightfully accused the Republicans on the committee of wasting everybody's time and ignoring the concerns of ordinary Americans. Whether I'm at the VFW or the local coffee shop or a union hall, a senior center, or an NFC championship watch party, uh, my constituents want to know what we're doing to protect their Social Security and their Medicare. My consistent constituents want to know how we are going to stop the flow of unregulated guns into our communities. My constituents want to know how we can help their children and families have access to a good education, economic opportunity, and to achieve the American dream. My constituents want to know that their votes will be counted, and they want to know that the law applies to everyone, whether it's the police or Long Island congressmen or former presidents. So it's really disappointing that our Republican colleagues are wasting precious time and resources on this resolution. Hours in the Rules Committee, hours in floor debate. Democrats stand ready to work together to find common ground to address the issues that Americans actually are confronting. But instead of working across the aisle to address these issues, our Republican colleagues are wasting everyone's time and wasting taxpayer dollars so they can make political statements to appease the radical right. To be fair, Congress is chock full of lawmakers on both sides of the aisle who spend their time making political statements and taking up issues that appease only their base. The House Judiciary Committee, for example, just got bogged down with an hour-long debate sparked by Republicans who want the committee to cite the Pledge of Allegiance every day, even though the pledge is already stated at the start of each day on the House floor. And speaking of the House floor, there are countless hours spent each day on the floor speeches praising sports teams or commemorating things that people only in one particular district in the United States would know anything about or care about. Many lawmakers, in fact, seem to think their only job is to enter trivial remarks and dedications into the congressional record. However, it is still a bit surprising when such obvious political pandering takes over a body like the House Rules Committee. And to prove Congresswoman Scanlon's point, Minnesota Republican Michelle Fishback offered this defense of the GOP bill. I do think this is worthwhile. And I think that, um, I, you know, I want to thank uh, Chairman McHenry for being here, but also uh, thank uh, Congresswoman Salazar for bringing it forward, because I think it is important that we bring these things forward to help educate the public and remind them what, what socialism really is. But again, there was no discussion in the committee about what socialism really is. There was only a debate about whether the bill that has nothing to do with House rules was worth everybody's time. It underscores that the Republican House is focused on buzzwords and messaging that content. But so it goes. The GOP is playing to its base, which also doesn't really care about actual legislation unless that legislation seems to involve owning the Democrats. Should the Democrats just say, fine, bring it up to a vote and let's move along? Maybe. But this Republican effort to deliver political messages and buzzwords, this is just the start. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.